Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to Seasons After Fall. In the last episode, we went into the swamps to find the next guardian of the seasons and the fragment they were protecting, which now allows us to control both the winter and fall seasons. So we can change between both of these at whim, which is pretty darn cool, but now our guide has asked us to go back to the east to try to find the entrance to some sort of cave. And I do remember coming by that at one point before. We kind of hit a dead end when we uh, found that little mushroom, I guess. There was a little mushroom and it seemed like we couldn't get up to that platform where the cave was at the time. So if we go down this way, we should actually be right there. And uh, we'll see what's in here. Maybe the next guardian, and there we go. So now that it's fall, this mushroom is actually growing, so we can jump on here like a little platform and get into whatever cave this is. And hopefully it's not going to be any sort of trap. Oh gosh, it's named the pit too. This isn't good. Because <laughs> I'm starting to wonder about our guide. They definitely seem like they have their own motivations in mind, so we do have to keep an eye on this this voice, whoever it happens to be. And now it seems like we're at some sort of water here. I wonder if, we, yeah, we need to freeze it, it looks like. So if we go ahead and change the season to winter, then we should be able to freeze the water and then hop right up here and get through. Well done, little seed. You have now mastered how to use the power of the seasons. What a stroke of luck. The third guardian is just beyond this cave. So, little seed, off you go. No time to waste. Well, sounds good to me. And it looks like um, since we can change it to fall, we can grow all of these mushrooms here that gives us all of these different paths. So that's good. At least we can uh, get up to these places. This is a dead end though, so we do need to actually go this way. And there's a little uh, shelf right here that we can kind of climb onto. So let's see where this leads. Oh, oh, look how pretty this is. All of these little hanging lights. Oh, this is beautiful. And there's a little uh, patch of flowers here for us to gather up too. And I have a feeling we need to change it back to winter now because it looks like this big mushroom is actually in the way. There we go. So it closed up once we changed it to winter and all of the lights changed to purple too. Oh, it's beautiful down here. Oh my goodness. I love these sort of like glowing things. I love this kind of atmosphere, all of these dark glowy places. So this is really nice for a place called the pit. It is definitely a, a much nicer area than I was expecting. So let's see if we can find the next place to go. Um, this mushroom looks different. What are you? Let's see, we'll make you grow and we'll see if you do anything different. Um, it looks like it might be the same, though there's a little like spore on it, I think. Can I like get you off of there? Yeah, what are you? Oh my goodness, what are you going to do? You're like one of those um, little little bugs from the swamp. Oh my gosh, so it is a spore. It kind of grew its own little mushroom. Let's go on this thing and see what this does. It grows? Oh my goodness, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Okay, so those little spore things, we're gonna to have to keep track of them because they can get us to a new place as it looks like. And I do remember a lot of those little um, like blue mushroom pads lying around earlier on in the game. So I guess we'll have to go back there, but it doesn't look like we can get up to this thing. I was hoping there would be a path that I could take to uh, get up on top, but we must have to uh, go back there at some point. Or maybe we can go this way? Can we go up this way? Yeah, I think we can make this jump and then we can hop up here. And this looks like one of those swamp bugs again. Are you a swamp bug, sir? I think you are. <laughs> yeah, it is. So if we bring him to the water, he should expand. There we go. He jumped right in there. Oh my goodness, you might be stuck now, little guy. Um, can we do anything if we change it to winter? Because these guys blow up when uh, we change it to winter and we bark at them. So let's see what this does. We have to get a little bit closer, it looks like, and then jump out of the way. <laughs> oh my goodness. He blew up all of the water. Can we go down there? Oh my gosh, we can. We can literally go down here. Okay. So he completely blew up like an entire layer's worth of water. That's pretty cool. Um, it looks like we have to change it back to fall now though, so we can grow these mushrooms and use them as platforms again. And then we can hop up here to this higher place. Um, now where should we go here? I guess we'll just keep going to the right. That seems to be uh, working so far. Oh my goodness, that mushroom came out just in time to catch me too. I have to be a little bit more careful about that, I think. We'll go ahead and get this guy out though. Um, where was the next water? That is the question. Well, that's a dead end, so obviously not there. We'll bring him this way. There must be water right down here that he can uh, kind of sink himself into again maybe and blow up another layer's worth of, uh, of this pit. 
There it is. Okay, so if we change it back to winter now, he should be able to blow this up if we get just a little bit closer again and then kind of get out of the way <laughs> because I don't want him to blow me up in the process. And now we're on the next layer of the pit and all of these glowing little plants again. Oh, I love this. Are you sure you're heading in the right direction? Oh, this again. Apparently not. Okay, so we'll go to the right again. It's always the right for some reason. We'll go off to the right and see if we can uh, find whatever she's looking for. So she mentioned that there's going to be another guardian at the end of this cave, too. The gap down below is much wider than it looks. I'm not sure if your fox can jump far enough to get across. Oh, this gap? <laughs> yeah, I don't think we're going to be jumping that anytime soon. Um, there's a little pathway down here. Maybe we can wind around a bit. Um, it looks like we have to change this back to fall. And this is one of those spore mushrooms again. So let's see what we can do with this. We'll knock this guy off. Um, there's water over here. Do you think these guys can go in the water too? What happens if they go in the water? Oh no! <laughs> I made him like explode. Okay, so they don't like the water, not like those other bugs. We'll go ahead and freeze it and maybe they can walk across this thing and we'll see if there's another one of those like blue mushroom pads because they must have to uh, send us up somewhere. Okay, there we go, right there. Okay, so if we change it back to fall now, then we should be able to grow this mushroom and then hopefully that'll take us across that big gap. It seems like this is right under where the gap was, so this must be the case, right? It's kind of taking us in a weird location though, right in the middle. Okay, so we still have to do a big jump <laughs> to get all the way over there. From what I've seen, you're not easily put off. You're right. If you can't solve the problem with brute poor force, use your head instead. And it looks like, um, oh, what are you? Is that a little firefly of some sort? I can't jump in the water, so I do actually have to go back to the shore and then uh, change it to winter here. And then we'll just go across, but that's like a little firefly, it looks like. Oh, you are adorable. He's actually following me, too. I don't know what you're gonna do, but you can follow me. That's fine. Um, let's change it back to fall now because there's some more mushrooms to hop across. So we can go up here and then up to this one. Fireflies. That means you're close to the exit. If they allow you to pass, of course. Okay, they are our fireflies, but if we're allowed to pass, oh dear. Oh dear, I hope they're not going to mess us up then. There's some more flowers, and there's another one of these spore things, but I'm not really sure what we're supposed to do with him yet. Because if we send him off the edge, he's just going to uh, fall into the water. So we'll go up this way and see if we can find, um, yeah, another firefly. Well, that's good. Um, and down here, what's this? All of these glowing rocks. Um, are we, are we trapped? Did I just go in a trap or some sort? Oh my goodness. Okay, wait a second here. <laughs> there's these little, um, patterns on these rocks. So that must be some sort of code. And then there's three of these here. We have three of these, uh, fireflies too. Okay, so let's try to figure this out here. I think we want to go this way because we were going toward the right. So we have to try to open this door. There must be some sort of way that we have to, like, set these guys up. Can I have you go in here somehow? Okay, so that makes them go into the rocks, and there we go. It shows um, one of those spots are lit up now. So we need to make that um, symbol, I think. I think that's what they want us to do. Now, did I mess this up already? I may have actually messed this up. I think I did. So can I get you out of there? There we go. So if we instead um, go in the middle first. No, 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 no. You don't go in there. I want you to come over here, little guy. Can you, like, get out of there? There we go. You come over here instead. If you go into this one first, then we can have the next one go in here, and then we can have the last one go off to the left here, and then that should make the symbol. I believe that's going to make the symbol. Let's see. That looks right. Now, will it open that door for us? I hope so. It seems like they're doing it. And then we would just have to do that the opposite way for the other rock, I believe, if we need to go back that way. Hopefully not, because I don't want to uh, keep going back and forth and setting these uh, little fireflies up. But there we go. That wasn't so bad. And here's another mushroom, too. So why don't we get this guy out? Um, it doesn't look like you really have anywhere to go, actually. So we'll just leave you there for now. We'll probably need him later, but right now it seems okay. So let's see. Are we getting closer to the exit? Oh, it looks like it. It looks like we're actually at the exit right now. Well, that wasn't so bad. Now we're at the Cascades. Okay. So we should be meeting up with another guardian pretty soon because that was what she said. 
And it looks like there's a lot of water here. Okay. And it seems like um, since it's fall, the water kind of goes down. The water level goes down when it's the fall time. So we do need to keep that in mind. Um, I think I need to actually make it winter now. Let's see. If we change it to winter, we should be able to hop up onto these platforms again. Um, we could even use this little pillar of water here instead so we can get on top of this tree. There we go. We can climb a little bit higher for that matter. And um, it looks like there's more mushrooms here, so we do want to change it back to fall so we can get up there. But I noticed there were a little bit of uh, flowers down here. There we go. And now we should hopefully be able to get up here if we jump high enough. Yeah, okay. So the fox can jump pretty high. I do need to uh, keep that in mind. The fox definitely knows how to jump. So let's see. It seems like we can just keep going this way. It doesn't look like we need to uh, really freeze up that little pillar. So we'll just keep going off this way, though I think we might actually need to freeze the water now. <laughs> it is a lot easier to uh, wander over this uh, water if it's frozen. It's a little bit slower if you're uh, swimming and you can't jump while you're swimming anyway. This river was full of salmon back then. But they're extremely rare today, and I think I know who's responsible. Maybe it's the guardian? Is that what she means? Because she really doesn't seem to like these guardians. Oh, here's the next one. Oh, look at you. It's like a giant eel, I think. And what guardian do you think this one is? Summer or spring? Oh, it's very sunny, whatever it is. Oh, that was really cool. So what can you do? Let's see, if we bark twice. Are you going to uh, change the seasons for us? Let's see. Well, it doesn't seem like it wants to yet for some reason. Oh, there we go. This must be spring then. This must be spring because it rains all the time in spring. And it's kind of like um, a rebirth too. Let's see. This is going to send all of the water out. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look how high it got. Okay, so that kind of counteracts um, with the fall time because the fall kind of lowers the water level like I was saying before. And when we change it to spring, it raises it with those big mushrooms. So that's good to keep in mind. I think I saw one of those mushrooms in the pit, in fact. So we might need to use it to uh, get back to where we need to be. And if we change it to spring now, there we go. So that kind of raises the water level. I don't think we needed to do that though, now that I think about it. We need to bring it back down and then we need to change it to winter so we can actually get on top of that. But yeah, now we know that that raises the water level so we can kind of help those geysers grow again after we shrink them with the fall. So let's see, can we get across here without changing it to spring? Um, I think we can. I think, oh no, it doesn't look like we can. We actually have to change it to spring to erase the geysers, just like I was saying before. So if we, can we bark to him now? Because he's kind of far away. Let's see, is that going to work? Can you change it back to spring for me, little guy? There we go. There we go. That should help us. And then if we just change it over to winter, then we should be able to skip right across this thing and right over to the other side. There we go. Okay, we're doing better now. So hopefully we can get back to the pit and then we can make our way all the way back to the sanctuary, which is going to be a little bit of a trek, I feel, because we did spend a little bit of time in the pit before. So we'll see if we can make it there. Um, let's see, should we change it back to spring now? Because I have a feeling that they're probably going to want us to use these new different ways of uh, interacting with the environment. And oh no, there are those fireflies again. So before we go any further, why don't we bring this guy with us? Because I feel like we are probably going to need this little spore. Okay, so we want to somehow make that pattern, which is basically just the opposite of what we did before. If we place this guy, the first one right in the middle, um, do you want to go there? There we go. And then we place the second guy right here. Then we should be able to place the last one right over here. And then that should complete the entire little circuit. Can you make it there, little guy? Can you make it to this one? He's like trying as hard as he can to pull against all of the other guys, but it took him a little bit of time. There we go. That should work, right? It seems like they're opening it now. There we go. And then we should be able to scoot this uh, little spore all the way over to whatever platform he needs to get to. Hopefully it won't be too far away. We are in the winter time, so he shouldn't like accidentally just zip into uh, any sort of water, which is good. Oh my goodness, that would have been like the death of this little guy if it hadn't been winter time. So good thing we were at that. But there we go. Now he can grow his little mushrooms and we should be able to just change it over to fall 
hole and hopefully grow this thing. Now those flowers to the right, I think we uh, have finished those. I think it looks like those are completely bloomed, but we'll just go up there and check. Um, yeah, they have bloomed. Okay, so we can go off this way and then um, hopefully jump to this one. There we go. I was a little bit worried that that was going to be too far for the fox. But here's another one of those carvings too. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, a big deer and it looks like a little crow maybe. Oh, that one's really beautiful. I wonder what those mean. They haven't really explained that to us. I do wonder what those could possibly mean. But let's jump over this way and then see where this guy wants us to go. The third fragment. <laughs> it was almost too easy. The Guardian of Spring can't have put up much resistance. You should have seen it before. Always ready to play and frolic among the waterfalls. We used to get along really well. But it's grown listless over the years, like the other guardians. Very sad, but that's how it is. As powerful as they are, the guardians have their weaknesses too. So she used to be good friends with these guys, it sounds like. All of these guardians, she used to really enjoy their company, but for some reason, she doesn't anymore. It's quite interesting. Um, now, what on earth am I supposed to do here? I think I may have messed this up a little bit. So it seems like we need to get up really high, but to do that, we're going to need to somehow change it to spring. So let's see. Is there just like an easy path that I'm missing here? That might be the case. Honestly, that might just be the case. So let's see. If we just jump up here, honestly, we don't even need to get up that high, do we? Well, this guy went off this way. Why did you go this way, little guy? Do you really want me to go over here? Do I really need to go over here? Um, I mean, I guess we could try it out. If we bark to this guy, he should be able to raise the water again. And then we can freeze it one more time. I'm not really sure why he wants me to go this way, but there must be a reason. If he's scooting off to the right, then I should probably follow the fragment. Because I know our guide always tells us not to uh, let the fragments out of our sight. So there must be a reason. There we go. So it seems like there's a different path over here that we needed to take anyway. So if we jump this way... And then we change it back to spring. We should be able to once again raise the water and then freeze it for us to jump across. So a little bit more, um, whoops, oh dear. It looks like it um, changed on me. We'll go ahead and change that back again. A little bit more complicated than um, the previous puzzles so far. But there we go. We can go ahead and skip across here and then just climb over to this side. So I wonder if we're going to have to do that again. Um, there's another mushroom right here that we can kind of grow if we change it to fall. A lot of changing now. A lot of changing of the seasons. Shuffling them around to get um, the environment just the way we need it. Which is quite interesting. And all of these mushrooms too. I feel like we've been here. I feel like I really remember this area. So we must be getting close to uh, the exit somehow. And we have to change it back to winter it looks like. And I see that there's another one of those little blue mushroom pads up there. So hopefully we can find another spore to ascend off in that direction. Let's go ahead and grow this again though, and then scoot it on over to winter again. And then let's see, can we make that jump? That is a very big jump. Oh dear, we can't make it if I do it like that. Oh my goodness, hang on guys. <laughs> I can fix this. Okay, try again, big jump, and then really big jump. There we go, just barely hanging on by his little fox paws. Okay, so it looks like that mushroom right here might be another one of those spore mushrooms. So if we change it to fall, hopefully we'll be able to knock one of those off. Yeah, there he is, it looks like he's right there. So we can scoot him off this way. Oh, nope, not that way, little guy, sorry. We want you to go this way so you can head into this little blue uh, pad of some sort, and you can grow a nice tall mushroom for us. There we go, and then that, hopefully that'll take us to uh, the next platform. I see there's one right up on top, so this should grow, um, <laughs> hopefully where we can actually use it. There we go. And it looks like there's another pad right here. Any more spores that we can use? Um, there's more of these glowing things, though we need to change it over to winter, it looks like, because we definitely need to cross this water. So let's see, is there anything over here? Um, there's our little spore. Um, I think I actually want to go on this side because I don't want to accidentally spook him into the water. So if we can jump right here and then like stay on the side, there we go, so he doesn't accidentally go dashing straight into it. Now we can move him over the water and then um, hopefully he'll be okay. He can just scoot right into that little pad and grow yet another mushroom for us. Lots and lots of mushrooms in the pit. 
There are tons of these, and I do remember that we saw a lot of mushrooms over by um, the forest where we found the Winter Guardian, I believe. So it seems like we're probably going to have to go back there at some point and maybe grow those mushrooms too. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, there's multiple mushrooms on this one! It's gonna grow us all the way up to the top, it looks like. Oh, that's pretty cool. There we go. Is there another one? Or Yeah, I could probably make that jump. There we go. So we can just go straight over here and, uh, oh my goodness, another one of these pillars. Okay, so we can freeze that one and I think that'll be enough just to uh, jump up to this platform right here. And we must be getting close now. We have gone very, very high up. Oh gosh, but there's one of these. Okay, so if we go up on here and change it, um, whoops, over to spring, we actually have to bark because, of course, we have not merged with the uh, spring fragment just yet. Then we can bark at these things and hopefully, yeah, there we go. It'll um, it'll send its water out for us and um, then we can cross it with the winter season. All right, there we go. We're getting there. Like I said, a lot of shuffling around of all of these seasons, but it's pretty neat. It's a very neat concept and I think this might actually be the end of the pit. I do remember these mushrooms. I remember crossing them before and if we go up here, we should actually be well on our way right out of the pit and toward the sanctuary. So we are actually almost there, guys. We almost have full control over the spring season. So that's going to be pretty neat. Are you getting a bit tired, little seed? <laughs> Only kidding. There we go, we're already back at the sanctuary. Oh my goodness, I wonder where we're going to have to go after this. Because there should only be one more fragment for us to collect and oh gosh, there are those roots again, right? Yeah, those roots. I'm wondering about those too. I mean, do you think maybe it's the guardians trying to protect what's left of their areas just by kind of closing it off since we did take their fragments? And something tells me that's not actually a good thing. Even though this voice wants to collect them for her, it really seems like she's only doing this so she can get a body of her own, just like us. She gave us a body and that's really what she wants. She wants to run around like our fox and just enjoy the world. So there we go, she should be taking us out of the fox again, and then giving us the next fragment that we collected. Oh gosh, that poor little guy. It seems like it hurts him more and more every time that she does that. Which is quite worrying. I hope we're not going to really hurt this fox by collecting all of these fragments. Ah, oh, what a shame. I expected more from the spring. Why does it always rain in the spring? And why do we always complain when it rains? Luckily, we only have to find one more fragment. A few drops of rain aren't going to stop us from finishing what we started. Now you can manipulate three seasons. You should have no problem finding the last guardian. Oh no, I can't believe it. What's the matter with him now? You think I'm frightening him? Don't worry, my noisy little fox. You'll soon be back where you came from. She really doesn't like our fox for some reason, but I love him. He is so cute. And he really seems to like us. I mean, he could run away if he didn't like us, right? He has plenty of time to do that. But look at him. He is adorable. As I was saying, the Guardian of Summer is hiding at the top of the mountain. Take the path up through the pines and try not to break a leg. I mean, Paul. Be brave, little seed. You're nearly there. All right, so the mountains. It sounds like next time we're going to be going into the mountains to hopefully find the Guardian of Summer. So thank you all so much for watching today, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.